All right, guys, it's Justin um, back at AFT, Project Blow Your Mind. We are in the final stages. We've got about a week and a half left until the designers start showing up. Um, some of the stuff we're working on, finishing up the elevator. So in this home, it's got an elevator that reaches the basement, the main floor, and up into the kids' Xbox loft. Some of the challenges, a lot of elevators are becoming more and more common in custom homes. Typically it's one floor, and typically the doors are on the same side. On this one here, on the main floor, we have an elevator facing north. On the downstairs, we have an elevator door facing north and east. And then upstairs in the game room, it's facing west. So that presents more of a challenge to the elevator company. The shaft's gotta be perfectly straight. All the doors have to be aligned and opening and all the flooring materials have to be at the same level. Um, anytime an elevator is installed in Arizona, we have to have the state inspector come out and take a look at it. Uh, they got to make sure everything's functioning properly, everything's functioning safely. Part of that is locking mechanisms on the door so that nobody can just open the door and fall down. It's also making sure that all of the wood, we had carpet upstairs, wood on the middle floor, and epoxy on the lower floor. So all of those have to uh, blend together so that there's no tripping hazard. As soon as these guys are done today, we'll bring our tile people in and the tile guys will throw the tile floor in there. Once the tile floor is done, then we can get the inspection. I'm Artie with Celtic Elevator. Basically, the biggest challenge with this is it's a three-stop, three-opening. We've never done a three-opening before, and I don't think the manufacturer has either. So that was definitely a big challenge trying to figure out everything for that. And because of that, the main travel cable that goes from the controller to the car top of the elevator usually will go on like a sidewall. But since it's three opening and they're all clear acrylic gates, we have to hide it in a corner, which is 10 times harder than what it would normally be. <laughs> uh, but stainless steel is nice. Uh, it's way heavier than any other cab we do. Okay. That panel is probably the weight of two or three regular wood eight foot cab panels. I would say that's probably three, about 300 pounds versus 80 pounds <laughs> and then yeah i mean all of this is just way heavier than what it would normally be so what kind of weight can this thing handle do you know uh it's 950 pounds that's the maximum for residential elevators not too different than any other elevator we do it's just a couple new challenges that we had to face